<laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm having a good time this morning. I'm thinking about all the things that God has been doing and uh, bringing forth his faithfulness. And certainly uh, you're that person that the Lord has his eye on. And he's wanting these adventures in life to bring forth, again, great joy into your life, but also glory uh, to his great name. This morning, uh, we've been talking about this particular theme all week about you being born uh, to be a radical person. You are a sign uh, and a wonder to a lot of people. You're a miracle to a lot of people. And so as that, as the scripture says, and we're going to use the same scripture we used in beginning this lesson, Romans, again, chapter 9 this morning, I'm going to read it again, uh, so that more and more clarification can come to your spirit, man, to your mind, to your emotions, to everything about who you are, so that this year you'll be a year, will be a year where you receive some marvelous I mean, just miraculous things from Almighty God. Amen? And it's already happening because, you know, we started our year as Christians. We started our year on God's time, uh, you know, but we, we also work with the world's time. And we're in a new year. Let's, let's make the best of it, all right? And let's, let's produce the best that it can. In, uh, in Romans chapter 9, come with me real quick. Verse 17, as we did the other morning. For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, as it says unto you. Okay? It says unto you, uh, the Lord withholds no good from those who walk uprightly before him. That says it unto you, okay? Scripture is also written and spoken unto you. He says, even for the same purpose, okay? So you have purpose in your life. I have raised thee up that I might, that I might show my power in thee. And who does God show his power through us? His children. Every day, in service and whatever we do. That my name might be declared to all the earth. And this is why God has raised you up for this time like this. Now, one of the things about you and I being a radical person, born for radicalness, is that God works suddenly through our life. He'll come on the scene and he'll do it suddenly. You can go uh, to, you know, maybe the doctors, you know, x-rayed you and they said that you had this going on or that going on. I remember many years ago, a young lady came to the church uh, one Sunday night to a service. She had cancer. She was going to be operated on that Monday morning, all right? They had already gotten her ready for that Friday and told her Monday morning, be here, we're going to take you in. That Monday morning, uh, before they were going to take her in, the doctor said, let me go and check you again, take some more x-rays. Went in, checked the x-rays, came back and told her she could get dressed. She already had a gurney and everything on. Say, you're going to get dressed because we can't find any cancer in your body anywhere. All right? No, no cancer in your body anywhere. Okay? And God did it suddenly. This is the way he is with us who are born again, who believe, who walk by faith. He does suddenly. And here's a suddenly in the book of Acts. I want you to look at this. And there are many of them all through scripture. All right. Uh, but as a radical person, okay, the response that you have from your words create things. Okay. This is a story about Paul and Silas. Okay. They, they weren't hiding who they were. They spoke boldly about the Lord they, they, they challenged people. They, they met things that confronted them, people that confronted them, demons that confronted them, situations that, you know, weren't like roses, you know, without thorns. These situations that they met came from the flower shop grown with thorns in them that they met all the time. And they even had uh, uh, phrases and things spoken to them that they were men that were turning the world upside down. Why? Because they were radical, Okay. They were radical. They, did, they would speak about Jesus if they saw something going on. Or if somebody confronted them and said, well, why are you praying like that? It's because of the Lord, Jesus, all right? See, Jesus comes through us, the spirit of Jesus, through us in many different forms. Like he showed himself after the resurrection, all right? He presents himself through us in many different ways because we all have different purposes in Christ Jesus that we'll eternally grow and know about and learn from, from, his, from his, the, the, the root of him in us. He's the true vine. You and I are the branches, okay? Now, it says this in the book of Acts chapter 16. Come on, go with me. Here we go. Verse 16, all right? These are radical men. And it says, and it came to pass, we went to prayer. Where are they going? They're going to talk to God. They're going, you know, when you're going to talk to God, you don't want somebody there with the, the, the boom box blasting and, you know, or somebody there reading poetry about the world or reading fantasy books and stuff. And it says, a certain dasma possessed with a spirit of divination met us, all right, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. He says, the same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, these men are the servants of the most high God. El Elyon, 
which show unto us the way of salvation. And this she did many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit. All right, I'm tired of this now, okay? You've been, you've been getting, trying to get all of the attention on yourself by what you're saying, and you're not for God. All right, you ever seen people like that? The devil loves attention, okay? He says, I command thee in the name of, the, of, of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it says she came out. He came out in the same hour. And it says they threw him in jail. Why? Because they're radical. They weren't putting up with stuff. And it says at midnight, verse 25. Come on, check this out. See how fast God is. I've been telling you for years that God's faster than all those, those fast food restaurants out there. Okay? It says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. Why at midnight? Because the scriptures tell us, even David the king, the prophet, told us that he praised God at midnight because at midnight God would deal with your enemies. All right? And it says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. And guess what happened? They prayed and they sang unto God. The, wait a minute, excuse me. Why didn't they pray and sang unto the prison doors? <laughs> the prison walls, the prison floors, the circumstances that they were in, all of this that had happened to them. Why weren't they there all night long, you know, just boo-hooing and crying because they were in jail and, you know, and they were going to miss the, the next feast that was going to come up in Jerusalem? Why, why were they, you know, sitting there worrying about all of the stuff that may happen? No, 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 no. You see what they did? Look what they did. It says, they prayed and sang praises unto God. All right? And the prisoners heard them. In other words, they had witnesses. We are decreeing how great God is. Not these prison walls that are holding us. Not these chains that, are, that have us, in, you know, holding us. I'm sure they were in pain. Their feet put in stocks and whatever. I'm sure they were in pain. But those circumstances didn't mean anything to them. God meant everything. All right? And it says this. And suddenly, you need to underline that. Because the Holy Spirit put that in there just for you and I. Radical people get suddenlies happening in our life. You get a suddenly happen in your life when you go to your job and the boss says, listen, uh, you know, I had this happen to me. Uh, one night, the boss came down, to, the plant manager comes down the floor and he offers me a job, a suddenly thing. I had no idea when I left home that this was going to happen. I had no idea this was going to take place. A suddenly happens. You know, a suddenly happened when we started this ministry. A suddenly happened. A millionaire was put into our, in our lifeline. And guess what? These particular people would come and just offer this, our services for this or that. Suddenly, I didn't know them. And I had no history with them or anybody in their life. But suddenly, see, suddenly, you know, it was a suddenly when the Lord woke me up and showed me the property that we have one day. Even though we had real estate people looking for property for us and whatever, no one had mentioned that property on Benchmark Road. Why? Because God had kept it for a certain time, for a certain place, for certain people, <laughs> for a certain deliverance and influence of his kingdom. He had kept it there. Nobody could see it but us. And I'm telling you today, God does suddenlies in your life to bring you to a place well, guess what? God gets the glory. And it says, suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, somebody say immediately. That's how resources come into your life. And immediately all the doors were open. <laughs> Woo! And guess what? Everyone's bands were loose. This is powerful. And even the keeper. And if you continually read this, it says even the keeper of the prison. Guess what? Him and his family members got saved. Why? Because it was suddenly that happened for Paul and Silas. God orchestrated all these scenes to get this family saved. Who knows how that family influenced after Paul and Silas was gone. All right? If you search out history, you can find these names in, in, in a lot of the Jewish traditional books of this person did that, this person did that, the 70 people that followed Jesus at one time, how they became bishops all through the country and all through other nations. You do not know what can happen in the, in the response of God coming to you in a suddenly. You do not know and understand the dynamics of what can take place because, again, He's working it. He's orchestrating it all. He's bringing the scene together, and everything is working together for your good. Amen. God bless you. We see you here on Daily Bread tomorrow morning. Amen. Amen.